didn't get off to a very good start. At one year old, I was involved in a house fire that left me horribly scarred and partially disabled. I grew up with, with lots of damage as a result of that fire, emotionally and psychological damage that was to cause me to go off the rails at a very young age. At 13 years of age, I was brought before the courts and I was charged with 111 offences. The judge didn't know what to do with me. I was put on a probation order. At 15 years of age, I was stabbed in a gang fight. I lost the use of my right arm for two years. And if things couldn't get any worse, at 24 years of age, I was involved in a hit and run incident where I was left for dead in the middle of the road. At 27 years of age, I received a telephone call my brother informed me that my father had taken his own life. So at the age of 30, I find myself absolutely lost in a hopeless situation, hooked on drugs, alcoholism, gambling. I tried everything to nullify the pain of the past. As I stood on that bridge and I looked over, I thought my life was over. I knew it would only take a few seconds to hit the bottom. But incredibly, I looked up and across the road, there was a block of flats and my mom lived in those flats and I could see that a light was on. So I went to my mom's house. I decided that suicide would, would have to wait. It was while it was my mom's house that I brought down. My mom didn't know what to do, so she rang my sister. It wouldn't be known to me had become a committed Christian eight weeks previous. My sister shared with me over the telephone that God wanted to give me a brand new life. 